Hello, church family. I hope you're doing great. Uh, happy March. Oh, man, it's great to get into uh, the month of March, isn't it? We're going to see 70 or close to it this weekend. I hope you are like me, feeling a little bit of fresh life from the longer days and brighter suns and brighter sun and, and warmer temperatures. Um, I misspoke in the sermon when I said we're going to look at the rest of Mark 2 this uh, coming Sunday. We're actually, we're going to slow down and we're going to look at just the next passage, verses 13 through 17, uh, where Jesus says, I came not to call. He calls Levi and then sits down and has lunch with a bunch of people who the um, the religious elite look down on. And they say, Jesus, why are you meeting with people? And he says, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Just one of those like laser-like gospel focusing uh, passages. We're going to, it, it needs a sermon. We're going to slow down and spend uh, a week just on that. Also on Sunday, it'll be really fun. First time we've done this since I've been in this role, we're going to welcome a new wave of members. Um, we have some, uh, uh, many people going through a, a discover and a class and possibly a join class thereafter. But there are some who did that last year and we're going to publicly welcome them. They're actually already, uh, members, but we want to publicly welcome them into the body. And so that'll be joy, a joy to do as well. We uh, have put a tab pretty near the top of our web page, mpchurch.org, for crisis giving to Ukraine. Uh, it goes through Samaritan's Purse. The deacons and a few staff members have done a great job organizing, facilitating that. If you would like to be a part of that, uh, please click on that and see what you um, how you'd like to be involved. Uh, it is a huge relief to see the broader community as of March uh, 1st begin to open up um, virus-wise. Uh, the schools and um, retail and restaurants and so on. And um, that's a happy thing for the community and uh, and for us. We're not changing anything we're doing around here. We've pretty much, you know, functionally been open at the church for some time some months now. Uh, but let me encourage you on behalf of the elders, if you have not felt comfortable coming in, oh, we do not want to pressure you in any way. Um, if it's, you know, if it really is a matter of discomfort for you, we do want to say um, it's not the same to be in person versus doing it from home. And so uh, as, as you are able, we really do encourage all of our members to to be gathering for worship physically with all the, the reciprocal um, interpersonal interaction that that creates. And so we look forward to, to seeing you uh, soon. Now, as you go through your week, let me mention one uh, verse that I've been reflecting on just this week with uh, in my own heart and with the staff. It's James 4, 8. Uh, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Part of James 4.8. Uh, one way to understand that is move through life praying, drawing near to God, praying, uh, communing with him, and he will. He is delightedly determined to draw near to you uh, as you do that. So do that on your own throughout the week. Do that in your small groups. Uh, if you are part of a family with your family, then let's do it together as we come together, uh, for gathered worship. I'm reading a, a book manuscript right now called A Praying Church by Paul Miller that Crossway is going to publish, uh, in months ahead. And it just has me all freshly fired up about prayer and the lack of it in my own life, my own need to grow in it. I want to, I want to do life by prayer. I want to lead this church by prayer. Uh, I want to lead our staff and elders and and join me. Let, let's be a praying church. That's what I want uh, to be and to grow in. The way Paul Miller puts it at one point is riding the wave rather than fighting the wave. That's one way to understand what doing, uh, doing life in ministry uh, and church by prayer is. And so let's grow together in that. All right. Uh, can't wait to see you soon. Jesus loves you. See you soon.